it's a hammer and it's a support weapon so mainly you're going to be using it as a weapon but the buttons that you push are going to give you these these notes basically you store up the songs that you've made by pressing certain notes you can let you know you can dodge roll stuff and the yeah the nice thing is you can store up these songs and stuff and they won't really disappear like until you use them so say you've only really got time to do this and then basically once you've stored up the three songs you can hit the right trigger and it starts playing the songs and then you can do some even more crazy shit and you hit the on you hit the trigger again and the encore plays and basically you just play your those three songs again like immediately so really the only danger with that is trying to do all this stuff you gotta watch out getting hit by shit I'll show you that here in a little while and then so of course you can just hit the right trigger and so that itself is an attack and then you can do some if you time it right you can play as many of the songs out of the three as you want so I just played like the one song and then of course if you only have one song you can play that and then the encore to that will only be that one song It kind of predicts a button that you should see. It says self improvement. And we're not about that life. We want to help our teammates out. And then, so I guess we can do wind pressure. So that even gave me a defense up while I was trying to do the wind pressure because the notes in which the defense up or whatever uh, was all the button sequence nonsense. And then basically, I can just play all three of those. And you see how he, he did an attack. And then basically if I don't want to play the health boost yet, I can hit the right trigger after it's chose the, the defense. You'll have to work with the timing and get used to it, but yeah. And you can also, like if you're sliding down a slope, you can do a sliding attack. You can also do jumping attacks, I believe. With, oh, look, here we go. Sliding attack, hiya! So you can mount stuff with that too. Uh, but of course you got your main jumping attack. You can mount monsters with those attacks. You can knock monsters out if you hit them in the head with these attacks. And then of course you play your song. So I mean, yeah, it's whatever your play style, however you want it, whatever buffs you're kind of looking for is what hammer horn you should look for is like I said you can see what the songs will do when you go to upgrade it so you're gonna start out with this metal bagpipe and it has yeah, a white note a red note and the blue that's a dark blue note there is a light blue note which is like more of a status buff the dark blue ones more of a defense like it's usually just defense but you can always check like you hit the triggers or and then you can see what the songs do health boost so this one doesn't heal but it'll increase your maximum health so you can increase your attack and defense and see on this one the white note uh, that note will always be the the Y button and the red note's going to be the B button. And then that big note's going to be the Y and B button at the same time. And then, like, if you come over here, it'll be the same one. The note 1 is Y, note 2 is B, note 3 is Y and B at the same time. And you can always check what the what the songs do. Tool use stream. See that? D 
defense up large. That'd be a cool one. Okay, so now I'm going to test it out in a real scenario. Uh, low rank T Rex, because the high rank one took minutes to fight, and there's really no need for all that. This is also where you can get some adamants right next to that camp. Uh, so I suppose before you actually find what you're attacking, it would be smart to uh, get some songs kind of stacked up. So now we fight the engine. Oh yeah, see so you can do the sliding attack. Try a mountain. Of course I miss, but it's because he's at the top of it. There we go, see? I don't know what the hell is going on there. And so now he's down, I don't really have to worry about really what my notes are, I'm just kind of attacking. So now I'm gonna get my the healing one back. So now if I get... I'm pretty much just gonna heal myself. I don't think you can turn in the middle of that attack. I keep trying to turn, but he just keeps facing the one direction. I put him to sleep. <laughs> so see if I want to use it, it'll attack him. And then if I want to stop using it like that, oh, I hit him too now. I mean, basically what you want to do is try and hit the monster in the head as much as possible because the hammer will knock it out really easily. And that's going to make your fight like a whole ton easier. And you can worry about what notes you're hitting if you want to because you got the time to worry about it.